Go to the bottom of page I in base three, <coughs> the second section. So we explained the principle of Betzelem is Halachish. Adas and Neshama ultimately communicate with the goof and the, princi- the, the, the principal explanation is that it is actually forced into it but then once it is forced into it then it actually produces and emanates with all its qualities all the functioning koiches and even koiches makifim, which are also effective in enhancing the, the the presence of the neshama in the goof. And this is the part of B'tselem is halachish. That his halach means the growth and development uh, of the neshama in the goof is B'tselem, is through this selem. This selem, this is the, this is that, the, the aspect of this of this uh, force that put the Neshama into the Guf. The Indian his Chabras on Shomi Magu Beruchnius. So, so far we're talking about the Neshama giving the Guf, f- uh, the functioning Koiches and even Makifi. In Avoido, how is that translated in, in, in Ruchnius? Huinian his Gabus Hatsura al Hachoimer. This is the principle of the of his what is Galus, overpowering, supremacy, superposition of Tsura over Khaimer. The goof is essentially Khaimer, even though the goof also has a Tsura. It has various parts and each each part has its own design and so forth. But the primary Focus. The primary strength of the goof is in the choimer. This gabbos ha'choimer al ha'choimer means that there should be full recognition that the koyach that's mislabish in the goof, that is the real thing. This is infinitely superior to to the goof that that receives it, and the whole function of the goof is only to be able to receive that surah. And this is Gabra Zatsura al Achoimer. This overcoming, overpowering, supremacy of the Tsura over the Choimer should be Boifen in a manner she ye a Kaili Tsura Zanefesh. That the goof should be a Kaili, should be a proper receptacle for the Tsura of the Nefesh, for the, 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 the message, so to speak, of the Nefesh. We'll discuss this after we get a little bit more presentation. <coughs> so that the tzuras are nefesh, the form or, or the message of the nefesh would be in the goof in a in a settled manner, not as a stranger, in position and imposing itself upon the goof. But be these Yashwas. Shaws, where then ye a gili ira nefesh begoof, there will be full gili, full impact and revelation and 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 uh, in, uh, illumination of the ira nefesh in the goof. We have in, 
in learning the previous section and, and, and previously, we have a, a very clear approach to understand the principle in this. And to take a very simple, low down illustration. In order, the goof <coughs> is a gashmi, and it can only orient itself in the, on the gashmi zikir level and in gashmi zikir terms. You're talking about being here or being there, it means, it means getting there. It means walking and, and so forth. And the nefesh does not have that, that aspect at all. The nefesh, as, as, as Bashem Tov says, the nefesh is where it wants to be. It doesn't have the, the limitations and the, and the intrusion of the Gash music is its situation. And the nefesh perceived, as we explained many times, perceived the entire existence at once, all the time. The goof, on the other hand, <coughs> functions within worldly and, and physical parameters. Therefore, when when we have a situation where an effort says, I want to be there, so the goof is kind of disturbed from its from its complacency. Says, get up and start walking and get me there. We do not really experience this kind of inter in, in, interplay. But in fact, the goof gets tired very, very quickly. And it says, uh, I can't walk anymore. That is due to the fact that the goof only experiences the exercise and the, 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 fun, the activity of the walking and it does not appreciate the spirit of where, where it's, what, what it's doing. Why he wants to go there? This we all experience, I'm sure everyone experiences, uh, you know, one you know, once in a while, that that uh, the 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 spirit of what we're doing completely overshadows, over um, um, in, enlightens the actual activity. Sometimes we wonder how we're able to do this physically. It seems to be way beyond our physical um, capacity. The answer is it's not the physical capacity, it's the spirit that 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 in, enlivened the goof. When the goof has the spirit of the nefesh, the amount of effort that it has to exert to accomplish anything physically is minimized to to a fraction of the normal of the normal requirement. This is the shot where the goof is becomes refined mm -hmm. and and is gabar hatsura lachoymus. Again, I'm using this classical illustration, standing up erect on two feet, which is really, if you think about it, it's very very demanding, very taxing to the goof. And yet. We do it without even being aware that it is that, that there's an effort involved. Why? Because there's this, there's, this, there's the human spirit that keeps it that it keeps it up. This is the his gabras hanefesh atzura al 
<coughs> so that, as he says, that the, the Gili Oyan Nefesh, there will be his Yashvus of the Nefesh in the Guf. His Yashvus means that there's not going to be any kind of a, of a, of a controversy, any kind of, of imposition upon the Guf. The Guf will jump up automatically because of the highest that it ought to receive from the Nefesh. Uh, uh, settling down. I was, I wouldn't, you know, the, the people in Russia, uh, I see them used to Fabreng. This Fabreng is our, our, the spirit that carried them through all of these, all the sort of uh, unbelievable difficulties that they had. That had to sustain. So they, they had an interesting experience with this Fabrenian. Because other Fabrenians, they would they would take Mashke, and they took Mashke by Russian uh, standards. <laughs> and they were very, very frail. And if there would be the KGB, NKVD would come and pay him a visit at that moment. They would be very, very in, uh, in a precarious situation. What do you tell them? What is this about? Particularly if they are, if they are really tipsy, who knows what. To do. So then the experience was that there was a knock on the door. That's how we do it. They usually come. They just knock on the door. They're, they're gentlemen, right? They don't just walk in. They knock on the door. That knock on the door would sober everybody else. Instantaneously. Instantaneously. The 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 alcohol know that that was on the body level. And this knock on the door would sober them up. Completely eliminate the effect of this alcohol. <coughs> This was this Gabriel's Atzur HaChemer, and then she was here Gilui Oyer HaNefesh Beguf. It was it would be Gilui Oyer HaNefesh Beguf. <sighs> Which means that the Guf will then uh, experience and be enlightened, not by a Guf level of Chayus. But by a nefesh level of chayis. Like we said, the nefesh does not recognize the principle of have to move from this place, have to get there. It, it, it is bedilog, it just goes across wherever it wants to be. The goof can experience the oil and nefesh and says, I'm there. Although the goof does have to walk, but it's completely, it ignores it completely. The thing that that comes to mind, although it's, a, it's not a fair illustration, but nevertheless, physical eyes are observing something. The Rebbe stands for hours on end, after a full day of, of work, and if I bring it, for hours on end, stands in one place, pouring out like a, 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 a kesher bro. In the most controlled and, and precise manner, not to spill a drop. To spill a drop from Rebbe's cross was something which is very serious. There was not, no, no such thing. No such thing. And in the early years, people would come with a handful of cups. My mother, my, my grandmother, my grandfather, my dress, my dad, they would hold it, then would pour into each cup precisely. Mm -hmm. 
Да вы гетаем. The other thing that even the, 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 the physical experts who would study the Rebbe's movement said the way the Rebbe clapped, the speed that Major Rebbe clapped was not, <laughs> not a normal speed. This is his Gabbat HaNepesh, Hatsura HaKhaymer. He one time said to us also that you noticed that in the later years when when his hands were weak, when he would actually pull kosher brocha, he he is. He would, that's right. When you say that, he said when you would make kiddush, for example, or make, make kiddush or he said lachaim, a full cup, he would often support the cup from the bottom with the other hand. Then he gave a kosher brocha. He didn't need that support. <laughs> Just to give it out. It was suggested to the Rebbe one time when he was giving out dollars, which also went for hours and hours and hours, that perhaps he should sit. He's so tired, and so, so exhausting. So the Rebbe said, you don't get tired when you count diamonds. Yeah. Rabbi said told told us one time that he that he used to one time was he the printed tiny used to give out tiny all night. Uh, heavy, I think those things were heavy. It was it would you know, um. Yeah. This is a so to speak a vivid Manifestation of the union of of his gabbas achsur al chaymer, and this gilu era never should be moved. Now there is Yom Razal, similar to what the Razal say, Tamid Chachomim, that Tamid Chachomim, who are involved in 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 Torah and learning, calls man shemaskinim, as long as they are they getting they. Except they're getting older, the older they get, die to Mr. Shabbos Aleyah. They does their mind, Mr. Shabbos gets settled on them. Mr. Shabbos means that they're, that, that the das is more at home, and the das can, can, can uh, delve into, into issues in a more thorough manner. Because means that Mr. Shabbos. The who, which refers to the Indian Shahadas Horaki, that the godly das, this is what das is. Das means that one recognizes the reality that, that exists in the world. This is the godly presence. Das Horaki, who, Bibhinis is Yashvus, in a settled manner, but never had goof. In the very nature of the goof. The goof actually functions on the basis of this dasaliki. Shein hateva misnagit kol kachel hadasaliki, where the teva is not in some in such blatant opposition to dasaliki. Like we have the example I said, when you have to go from place to place. It's not the Lakus, the Lakus is everywhere. And and, and the Nefesh is where it's on. Mokim Shodom Reis Somhu. This is a, a, a Gatlich perspective. perspective. The Goof, in, in, in essence, in, initially does not subscribe to that at all. But that means that you have to cover every inch of the way. Because in Ta'as Eliki is Bishyashus Betabha Guf, and the Guf actually experiences this Das. The 
Behu Ukmai, as for example, Sherisikh as Ha'ilodim, that the Sikh is the excitement of, 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 of children. It's not a vehicle for the nefesh to be beisiyashmos, to consider nefesh in yoni. The beruch nis uinyan takev hachoymer. How this translation beruch nis? This is the union takev hachoymer, that the choymer has is in full force. <coughs> Excuse me. Shein ekel the tzuras an nefesh, whereby it is not a proper receptacle for the tzuras an nefesh. The, the tzuras an nefesh is essentially superimposing itself on the on the on the on the goof. So what's okay? It, it reads what toikov toikov achoy toikov achoy mer. Ah, but and you're saying that nefesh. In, when nefesh comes into the goof, it superimposes itself on a goof. In that case, yes. In, right. So it has it has to se- settle in. So this friction, is right. There's a friction. It's being superimposed. It's not a question of friction. Yeah, the goof in, the goof is, has to be disturbed from its from its s- state. But it's w- its orientation. But what we said before about uh, das kenim, or uh, when when chachomim they get older, and then das mis yasheves, uh, das al key. So that kind of means that this that there is a l- less of a friction. There is no more friction. It ca- it became it became smooth, right? Over time, it became refined. Yep. Haritaish v'tichas hayeladim, the excitement of the children. And this is the Indian Futoik of Choymer. And it's not, there's no Yishyashmus for the Nefesh. In order to consider a Indian Sikhli, there has to be Yishyashmus. And the Chichas Ha'ilodim doesn't permit the Yishyashmus. He has no patience for this. <coughs> Is that the same thing with the sense <coughs> that uh, the first person is born like a wild, wild mule? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same the tools and efforts. Then it's not a, it's not a key for the tools and efforts. They, they, um, they, in the secret side loading. You can't even interest, so to speak, the child with any aspect of seichel, for example. The mm-hmm. shkito, he shkito, shkito means settling and quietude. Represents a teva einim and nagadol hanefesh. Now the teva of the goof is not opposing the nefesh. That's when he gets shkito. The oz hanefesh if he begins then the nefesh has an element of his yashvus of, of of calm and settling into the goof. It's it's at home in the goof. Ubegili the goof. And then it is also begili. The, then the good, the nefesh is not is not camouflaged, but but it actually gives expression. There's expressions of the nefesh in the begili. So zeinyan, zeinyan hayischabus. This is the principle of hischabus. The nefesh with the goof. Now the nefesh. Finds a a proper receptacle, a a, 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 um, a an acceptance of the goof. Because it is chapas on nefesh and the goof. One second. Yeah.
Misha says that that you learn, you must not learn Amnashe Kore Rav, so that a Kore Rav I will be I will get the title of a Rav, or I will I will be um, recognized and so forth. <coughs> The, the reason of that, I'm not sure Kore Rav, is not only that it's not Lashem Shemayim, but, the, the, but there is a, a more significant, a, a real a, a shortcoming there. And that is that your learning is at a superficial level. The method does not find itself in this learning. And if the nefesh does not find itself in that learning, you're learning, so to speak, with the koiches agui, with, 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 with the external koiches, and it's a very un, un, it's a very superficial type of learning. Sometimes a macho ikonin of when he learns, his focus is what can I use of this and on the pulpit? What this one? In my sermon. sermon. Okay. I can, uh, this will be, oh, this would be very impressive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this will be really, hit them hard. They will mm-hmm. really know what, what I'm capable of saying. Mm-hmm. This is, this is, mm-hmm. uh, Besides the concerns, it's counterproductive to the learning process. Uh, the, I want to ask you before, like this whole thing that the net, that in the beginning on onset the goof is not uh, is not uh, so well suited. You know, it doesn't accept nefesh uh, smoothly. It takes time. You know. Yeah, that's a matter of like you know what what's the, what are it's the original plan why I wish I made the world. <coughs> we'll start first studying this in the new world. Okay. <coughs> I, have, I have another question. Totally to different. Like when you're saying right now about learning like this, I mean that's you got a rap and stuff like that. So you think it's it's superficial, Nefesh does not get involved in it, right? And then you say, we say that, you know, that it it, it it's like Alfred Brangen, you were speaking that uh, that in this kind of situations, right, you kind of preclude yourself from from highest in it, right? But then you ha- we have a thing that it says the more shubatara machzeri lumutov. Is does that is that still applicable to such case? Like if a person learns to be mamish like Arab or who knows what. Uh, yeah, sure. How how does that how does it work? If he's all you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm asking? Yeah, of course I know it. Yeah, that's what Imran says. There is there is an um, overwhelming power behind it. There is this which you take with you say. And then there is the Moyer. Moyer is beyond the oil. It's the, the essential truth that ultimately comes through. Even if person... Uh, in Abraham, tension. that's it. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't need to push it so hard. It's not, it's just uh, <laughs> going off. It's not. Okay. okay. I know you have that interest. That's the second I love Of course, you know? of course. I want to be a rival. But we are, we are learning this. <laughs> Let's focus on what we're learning. <laughs> All right, we can get into this very deeply, but just to introduce the. the the um, <coughs> principle. Who pick day she ye his gabazatsur al hachoimer canal in order to affect that they should actually be the tsura should be superior overpowering the choimer and put the choimer in its place, so to speak. Canal, as we mentioned, zehu bekoyach etzem an shamadak. That is affected by by the presence of the Etzim Hashem. Etzim Hashem has that koyach to overcome the the negativity of the Choymer, the opposition of the Choymer, and to and to refine the Choymer, to bring the Choymer, in, so to speak, into joining. it. 
The etzem and shomer. Let's finish this line. The etzem and shomer yesh bikoichos. This etzem and shomer has the power. Lifoil ha beetel b'teva ha goof to ultimately affect the beetel in the nature of the goof. Li iskei li letzuras ein han shomer. So that the goof <coughs> will be a keli, will be a proper receptacle, may be a recipient of the tzura v'yayishan shomer. So actually, so to speak, look forward to the neshama settling into the goof. Okay, this is it for this morning. Disconnected.